Hello, hello everyone. My mic may be very loud today. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> and that is because, because uh, the, so a couple things, two things, maybe more than two, we'll see. <laughs> you may notice I have a slightly different background right now. That's because I got a wild hair. Um, and I don't know if this is just a me thing, if this is an ADHD thing, um, but every now and then I, need, need to rearrange all of my spaces. <laughs> and uh, as of late, it was time for my studio to be rearranged. And this is actually a, a way that I've had it set up before. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I moved my desk to a different room, and then I moved back, and then I switched around. Anyway, long story short, I changed it. So thing number one, I hope that you like the new setup. Uh, tried to as much as I could put fun and interesting things behind me. <laughs> um, but aside from that, um, in the process of my rearranging and all, I seem to have misplaced my um, the cable for my microphone. It's around somewhere. It can't have gone far. Well, I say that. Uh, you might have seen me reach over a second ago. The kitten has been, he, he is growing into a complete and 100% menace. And um, that's, can't not pay kitten tax. So hang on one sec. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. So this is Osiris, as you can see, becoming very long um, and wiggly and absolute menace. Yes, no, 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 don't be this way. Don't be wiggly. Um, but yeah, so I misplaced and or he ran away with uh my mic cable and so i'm using the mic on my um webcam here let's have you go around <laughs> um ah stormbender hello it is good to see you and yes uh fun side note my camera is reversed <laughs> or i guess maybe not reversed but yes this is a hooded crow um this is a taxidermy of a hooded crow that actually ethically sourced was a gift and uh, came from the UK actually um, and is one of my prized possessions <laughs> and hoot 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 hello hello and welcome yes I have a very a very long cat who is getting longer by the day buddy and and also wiggly <laughs> and everywhere um, but yeah, yeah. So that's the deal. So hopefully the mic doesn't sound real super crazy. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, if at any point the sound is weird, just let me know and I will fix it. Um, and Stormbender, thank you so much. Yeah, no, I I am in love with this piece. Um, so I, I am steadily growing my collection of things. Um, the other day I did uh, <clears throat> do a count of skeletons. Um, human model skeletons, not animal bones and things like that. Um, and I came to a count of, I think, um, of seven, um, and half of which are bigger than three feet. Anyway, that's not really the point. The point is we are here to play together today because it is the third Sunday of the month. So I am so glad to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah yeah so let's we're gonna keep talking we're gonna keep hanging out but we're gonna jump in um so was as usual running a little late so let me size this uh correctly i do feel the need lately to actually start off with the intro page because look at this guy i don't even know who this guy is but I stand for him. Look at him. He's showing us a lot of love right now. So that being said, we're, we're going to jump into the land of mischief, which is where we've been as of late. Um, and I hope for today's morning play cafe, everyone has a snack or beverage of your choice. Um, I recently, as I was running around to various stores that I go to a lot. <laughs> I actually, I have a lot of coffee mugs, but I saw this one and I knew that I needed it. Um, check it out. Check it out. Too cute to spook. Um, which 
initially when I saw it, I was like, oh, too cute to be spooky. But now that I have it and I'm thinking about it, I'm like, oh no, too cute to be spooked. So cute. You are just in a Zen space of cuteness. So, <laughs> um, oh, yo, Stormbender, coffee and coconut donuts. Um, a, sound amazing. Uh, B, coconut cake donut, coconut fritter, coconut filled donut. Do not leave me in the dark here. I need answers. Um, but yes, so whether or not you have a caffeinated beverage, coffee, tea, whatever else, if you have water, if you have juice, if you have something a little stronger to uh, close up the weekend, <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm not here to judge. Hmm. So that being said, we are here. We are here at the house. Um, and for anyone who was here last week, I lost the house that uh, had been <laughs> had been working on in the desert. Surprise, surprise. I hope you're seated for this. But that being the case, um, oh, you know, I realized my desktop audio is not on. Let's turn that up a little bit so we can, you can hear all the, the good sounds. Um, but yeah, so that being the case, I happened upon the house that I had been trying to find to show. So it wasn't, you know, all sad. Uh, and so went to the first house, showed off that, showed off the associated village and uh, made it here. And this is my mountaintop witch house. Um, and so really nice. We got a pond up here. It's on top of a mountain though. So pond's frozen. I haven't closed in the ceiling yet. Um, but if we go out here onto this one porch, look at this, ah, beautiful, beautiful. I can stand up here. I can gaze over my, my kingdom as it were, buddy. <laughs> also a uh, storm bender coconut cake donut with roasted coconut sounds amazing. Is this a local place or like a Duncan where I too could obtain one? And also, um, rocket Fox always accepting tribute of donuts. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> um, donuts are some of my favorite things. And I in part wish that weren't the case because I am trying to light go on a diet. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big gal by any means, but past couple years, uh, have got a little snacky and also more importantly, not putting like all the healthiest things in my system, but also not being as active, um, which just isn't as good for the health. Um, local store makes their own. That sounds amazing. I'm sad that that means I cannot obtain that particular donut for myself, but that just means you're going to have to have an extra one on my behalf. Um, so whilst we're here, uh, can show off all of the pets. Cause this is where I'd moved all the pets to. So something that I want to do today is I want to, I want to spruce up our house a little bit. Ooh, this is looking a little, a little bland, you know, and, and don't get me wrong. There's a lot of pets. There's a llama literally in my face. That's all fine and well, but it could be better. It could be better. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sleep through the night because I don't want to die. First thing when we start playing, um, and just in a sleep. And since we are, since we are talking about donuts and stuff, I do. Okay. So hang on, hang on, hang on. I got it. We got to take a moment. We got to take a moment because I, I don't know who else loves Aldi with the undying unbridled love that I do. Um, but I was there yesterday and I always go there to pick up like one thing and then I end up picking up a lot of things. But one of those things I picked up right now, they have these. This is also side note. This is not being sponsored. I just, I'm going to eat one of these. So I want to let you know where it came from if you want to get one. <laughs> um, but yeah, they have these like, I guess they're for the season, but they're these like apple shaped chocolates, apparently Belgian chocolate. Ooh, fancy. Um, they also had little pumpkins, which... Obviously, I love little pumpkins, but the flavors that they said they had didn't really excite me as much. These flavors, cookie dough, almond cream, and chocolate mousse. Yo, am I right? Um, also, Stormbender, do you mean having a duck in game or having a duck in real life? 
I will have you know that ducks do eat mosquitoes. Um, and I've been saying this since the dawn of the age. I do not have a duck, however, in real life. Not in the game either. I don't know if you can get a duck in the game. But yeah, so I'm not sure which of these is which. But I wanted to try one. And I wanted to try it with all of you. Oh, it, look at this. They tell you on the back. Um, okay, so the green ones are cookie dough. The yellow ones are chocolate mousse. Not what I would have guessed. And then the brown ones are almond cream, which I, Stormbender, you were speaking my language there because I heard a mmm to almond cream. So let's find out. Let's find out. So, okay, here we go. Here we go. One of these. They're very cute. Hang on. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Oh, my God. Um, the chocolate is very thick. <laughs> So it's it's like biting you too. I mean, I'm sure people have had these. Um, you know, just, I'm just around like what are they like truffles? I guess there's something they bite through. I tend to like a little uh, thinner layer of chocolate myself. That's a little much. Um, because I'm more I'm more of a dark chocolate than a milk chocolate person. It's okay though. It's not bad. Um. Yeah, no, hoot, hoot, hoot. It is good. It is good. I'm not mad at it. Um, It's the kind of thing that, like, I don't know. I, I, I took a bite of half of one. And whilst I love sweets, that's probably going to last me for a while. Like, that's about how sweet and rich it is. Oh, girl. All right. But it's good. That's why I got my... uh my too cute to spook coffee right here because I've gotten to a place where like if I have something real sweet and rich I gotta follow it up with something bitter or else I will be able to feel my my veins and arteries for the rest of the day okay all right oh wow that is I can feel my teeth and I can feel my hair standing up so <laughs> Oh my goodness, I feel so alive. Um, yeah, if you're interested in stuff like that, uh, go to Aldi's, grab some of those little apple Belgian chocolates. I honestly, I wish that like, I wish that there was like an apple flavor incorporated, like an apple pie chocolate. Yo. I, okay, so there is a place, I don't, there's a place, Oberweiss Dairy, I, I know that they're here. I don't know if it's like a local thing or if they have uh, places everywhere. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but they have one of their seasonal ice cream offerings is apple pie ice cream. And I don't want to alarm you, but it's amazing. It is so good. It is so good. Like, and I, I have a soft spot in my heart for apple pie. Super for it. Uh a love that is undying, but oh my god, this apple pie ice cream. Uh, speaking of all these, speaking of having gone yesterday and picked up a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't need, well, let me rephrase. A whole bunch of stuff that I absolutely did need on seeing it. <laughs> they, right now, and I think this is probably a seasonal offering too, um, they have a an apple cinnamon ice cream, and it comes in one of those little, just like what is that? A pint, I guess. Um, about yay big. And it's actually very good. It's cinnamon ice cream with apple pieces in it. And it's, I'm not going to lie to you. It's fucking delicious. Uh, like I had some and I was like, yo, if they had mixed in some pie crust in here, this might be my new favorite ice cream ever. Um, and Stormbutter, do not think that I do not see you talking about making an amazing apple pie. Um, because you know, I am a fine pie judge, uh, and I am not too fancy to uh, hit you up outside of stream and be like, all right, listen, how much would one of these pies be, and how can it get shipped to me, because that will happen, um, because I need, I need it, I need a a amazing or at least really tasty apple pie. Um, I I feel the need. Wow, I have no tools. But did I? What happened? Did I? Oh, I did die. That's. Look at me. I'm out here about to go mining for stuff. I don't even have any tools. 
Oh my God, I'm a hot mess. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, who, who, who knows that taste is all that matters. And honestly, that is what makes an amazing pie, ice cream, donut, cookie, whatever it may be. Like if it tastes good, then it's amazing. That's what I say. And the thing is too, when, when it's made by someone, you know, and by someone, I mean like, not like a store. I know the stores have people that are making the pies too. Um, but like someone, you know, um, and not like an anonymous person or a machine or something like that. You can taste the love. And uh, that really, what is happening in my entryway? <laughs> I, I need to make a better place for these guys. This is wild in here. Uh, that also adds to the flavor. The delicious level increases by at least like 30%, at least. Okay, so we're back inside. I am pretty sure I have some tools that are already made, but if not, I should question mark have the components to make them maybe maybe not wow what is what is happening here i have nothing nothing i have nothing um okay this is wild i have boxes filled with stuff that is not super helpful to me right now <laughs> fantastic you'll love to see it um well i'll i'll tell you i do know all right so we're going to we're gonna take a little jaunt, a little, a little journey. Wee! This is one of my favorite things. Uh, my little bouncy uh, down elevator. All right, so here we're we're gonna take a little adventure. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, don't don't you leave. Don't you leave, llama. All right. Um. So the nice thing we all know that I get lost. Let's not. Pretend that's not the case. No, wait, no, that's not. Um, the nice thing about this, though, is that I did take the time and energy to make a path that leads from this house to the other house. I already am not on it, <laughs> but but it is here. It is here. I did make a path. Um, there. Okay. Wait. Nope. There. It's, and this is how. In case anyone was curious, how I get lost as easily as I do. This. This is the way. Um, okay, can I hear, oh, oh, you know, I didn't really plan my traversing with horse riding in mind, apparently. Uh, that's okay. That's a, we'll, we'll get around this. This'll, this'll work out fine. Um, all right. Once I have tools, I can, this'll, we'll fix this right up. Uh, so <laughs> famous last words, I'm going around. And I will get back on the path once I've gone around. And yes, okay, <laughs> we got back up. Like even that quick of a step off the path, that's all it takes. That's all it takes for me to become lost forever uh, for the rest of time. So we're gonna, next time I get some tools and come through though, I am definitely gonna widen this path so I can come through with a horse. Um, normally when I've gone, I've just walked back and forth, but it's a lot. Oh, look at my bee in a sweater. Look at the sweater bee. Ah! Okay. Um, yeah, the horse riding way faster. And also horse riding. What's not to love? Look at him. He's wearing a hat. Technically armor, but, but I have, I have an armor's hat. Um, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. The hardest part right now is going to be not plummeting my horse and myself to our death. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> head very carefully. Oh, girl, it's straight down the face of the mountain. Uh, this was such a good idea when I was going up. This lava right there. Oh my god! I don't actually know if like. Riding a horse shields you a little bit from, oh, I don't know, dying from a fall. Maybe if you land on the horse, it's a little less dangerous. I'm not really sure, but um, I, I don't want to find out. Besides, I like this horse. Yeah, a horse-shaped fall pad. Uh. Now, that all being said, 
Bear in mind, everyone, this is only in Minecraft and not in the real world. Please do not ride a horse off the end of a cliff. It is a mistake <laughs> every time. Why am I dying? What's going on? I mean, I know it's nighttime. I know there are monsters. I'm, I'm trying to ignore that right now so that I can get through here. Uh, I'm scared. Um... But this is probably gonna be fine, right? We'll make it, no worries, no worries. Oh my goodness. I, the thing that is worrying me though, I don't see any monsters right now. And, and I know they're around, I know they're around. And the fact that I don't see them is, oh my god, there's one! Oh, god damn it. No! No, my horse. At least my horse is along the path, question mark? Um. All right, so now that I'm not on a horse, I'm gonna try and run down this path, and we're gonna we're gonna try and make our way and and find our horse. Um, then we this will be fine. This will be fine. This is now I can walk on the actual path I made, so that's cool, I guess. Hey, okay, we got a skeleton in my pond. That's not what I want, but eh. um, I will say though, this is. I don't know if this is a super eclectic is not the word I'm looking for, but um, specific reference. Jumping off of a cliff with a horse. <laughs> uh, yes, do not do it. It reminds me, though, uh, has anyone ever seen the movie Wild Hearts Can't Be Tamed? I saw it when I was a kid, I want to say. Um, I know I saw it, I think it's a 90s movie or something. I don't know. In my, in my brain, it, it feels like a 90s movie. Anyway, it's, it's about, yes, okay, so Stormbender. So it's not, it was not some fever dream or hallucination. So essentially what, what the movie is, is apparently, and you'll see how this connects, uh, apparently... There, in the world of this movie, I'm hoping, and not in real world, because this would be terrible, um, there's a sport, which is like horse diving, um, horse diving, to where you're on like this high dive thing with a horse, and you dive into the water with a horse, That's, that's the, that's the sport. That's, that's what happens. So there's this gal, this gal, like young girl, teenager, I don't know, non-adult who's like super into it. And she's like, yes, I have a wild heart that cannot be tamed. Um, and I'm going to use that to dive horses into water. Um, but anyway, uh, like one might anticipate happening uh, there is one time when she does it and it goes horribly awry and she breaks her back um, because you're diving a fucking horse off a high dive into the water. Uh, but anyway, she breaks her back. She, I think she becomes, um, I, I want to say she becomes paraplegic. Like she's, she's not able to walk anymore after that, I think. Um, and, but like she, she has in her wild, wild heart that she still absolutely must do this this diving horses off a high dive into water sport like this is it's in her soul um and she she cannot not do it and she just her her dreams um and so the kind of climax main part of the movie spoilers ahead uh skip ahead like 30 seconds if you don't want to hear what happens anyway she does it again she she manages to train with a horse where they strap her to the horse or something. I'm not really sure. Um, and she does it again and I guess it goes fine. And that's the movie. I imagine that in watching it, it's, there's probably a lot more like, Oh, heartfelt moments. Um, and things like that. As I think back on it, cause I, I probably have not thought of this movie in easily over a decade. Um, wild hearts can't be broken. Yes, that's it. Um, but yeah, so 1991. I, so I may not have thought of this since 1991. 
<laughs> for what it's worth. But um, now that I look back as an adult and I think about it now, I'm like, A, if this is a real sport, it's a terrible sport. Why would you do this? Why would you? A horse does not want to dive off a high dive. This is not something a horse naturally does. And I don't think it wants it. Um, and also don't do it while sitting on a horse. I don't know. I, I just, now I see so many things about it that I just don't like. <laughs> um, yeah. Family, family fun movie. I think it was, it was like a family film though, from what I recall. Also speaking of that, I do not see my horse anywhere. Um, I don't know if it wandered off. If when you are on a horse and you die, the horse also dies. No! Ah! We found him, my guy. Yay. Buddy. Sweet. Oh, yes, we're in the space where I couldn't figure out how to get past it. Okie dokie. Uh, 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 there we go. So all I have to say, my real question in all of this is horse diving. Real sport? Um, someone tell me, is horse diving a real sport? Oh my God. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Um, is horse diving a real sport? Certainly not one that's still practiced, right? Like there's no way, there's no way that this is something that people are still doing if it was ever done at all. Like, and again, I'm not convinced that this isn't something that like somebody had an idea for moving there. Like what if, okay, hear me out on this high diving. If you do it wrong, you can hurt yourself, but what if you did it wrong on a horse? Um, that's how I'm imagining the conversation to pitch this movie went. Um, do you, okay, so Stormbender, here's my question. Oh God, I'm dying. Um, here's my question though. Was this ever a thing? Like, was this ever actually a sport? Like did, is this real? <laughs> is this really happening? Did, was this an actual horse sport? Diving? Because even at its best, oh my god! Okay, so in the late 18, to be fair, I feel like people were doing a lot of stuff that was real dangerous in the late 1800s and being like, no, this is fine, this is fine, you're not fine. Even at its best, like even everything going perfectly, I cannot see how it is a safe, you know what, I'm not, listen, I'm not out here saying everything has to be totally safe, but like, yo, like, I feel like this is only, this is something where only, it can only go poorly, right? Like it, at its best, it can only go bad. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, no, it absolutely, PWB also, hello. Uh, but yeah, it seems like a depression era. Well, we've got a cliff and we have a horse. What if, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, no, so that makes sense. Being more of an attraction, kind of like a, a circus kind of thing, maybe. Like, hey, watch what we can do. Um, that Now that does make a little more sense to me. Um, but I don't, I still don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I find, I find it distasteful. Um, yeah, I kind of want to go back and watch this movie. <laughs> like, and, and kind of get a sense of it now that I'm an adult <laughs> and just be like, okay, like how does this taste as bad? as I feel like it does. <laughs> um, I'm going around right now because I definitely did not leave myself enough space to get through here safely. Um, whether or not I managed to do this. Uh, hey, okay, so back on the path, back on the path. Um, I see the other house, so we're, we're doing okay. We're, this is, we're all good, we're all good. Um, so, eh. almost did it. Buddy, my guy, please. Okay. We made it. Yay. Um, 
All right, so even though it is a bit quicker to get back to the other, the witch house via the horse, man, that is a huge pain in the butt. Um, so maybe, maybe we won't do that next time. Let's put the horse back. Uh, run, 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 jump. Okay, that, that did not work. Let's try, let's try again. There's, okay, wait, run and jump. No. Okay, hang on, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Run and jump. Okay, buddy. Yeah, let's just eh, go in. All right. I I have done this before. Like it. I'm not just. Okay. Wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Run, 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 run. Jump. Okay. Um. Here. You know what? Here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this instead. Uh. We're gonna go up here. And then jump! <laughs> oh my god, I jumped through the horse. The horse was like, no, bitch, no. Um, jump off this thing, yay, we did it! Okay, that is that was way more effort than it really needed to be. Um, there you go, bud. We'll just we'll just leave him alone. Um, and night is falling. So we're gonna go back in the house. We're gonna take a little little rest. And to be fair, like this house does need a little sprucing up as well. Look at this. Like, I love the design of this. I'm really happy with it. But it's still a little, a little bare, right? Like, I mean, it's, I like this painting. I like all this, the cat choir. Uh, but still a little, little barren. So let's, maybe we'll start by sprucing up this house, right? Like, I feel like all my houses uh, should be spruced up. And I think... I think, don't quote me on this, I may have some tools here. I at least should have components here. Lots of seeds, lots of hats. Um, hats are good, I like having hats. Uh, I do have, it is, it is absolutely like, listen, you can look around me and know that I do not live a Spartan life. <laughs> I live a life of a lot of decoration. And hey, all right, look at this. Silk touch and mending. Hmm, you love to see it. Actually, well, hang on. I don't want silk touch for this though. Why did I make this? Mending is cool, but I don't know this. Um, yeah, no, P PWB, thank you so much for popping by. Okay, um, all right, well, this is fine. This is fine. We're gonna, here, we'll, we'll just, we'll figure this out. Uh, so let's go over here. Let's do a little, little of this. We're gonna, we're gonna make some money is what we're gonna do. Today's gonna be a money making kind of day. I, sometimes, sometimes I'll play some Minecraft and then I'll exit to the real world and I'll be like, yo, why, why can't it be this easy to make money? Just <laughs> slapping down some seeds, forgetting about them for a while, coming back selling my grown wheat to total strangers and they give me money and stuff doesn't cost that much and if I need furniture I can just very easily build it which is not how it is in real life dot 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 <laughs> but yeah sometimes I have these moments and I want it to be that way and I want it to be easy but it's not and that's fine well it's fine enough, I guess. <laughs> ah! So I know that there are ways you can make automated systems for all of this. I, okay, so I use a lot of resource packs. Love resource packs. You can put various different skins on stuff. When we go to the village, for anyone who hasn't seen, you'll see that like all of my villagers look like fox people because I love that. However, aside from just resource packs, you can also get mod packs in which you can like uh, there was one that I had downloaded for a server I was playing on that, um, like, I was able to make a cuckoo clock. Super cool. Love to do it. But there's, because I'm not as familiar with them, they kind of, saying they freak me out is way too strong of an emotion put to that, but it, it makes me just a little nervous. Just a just a wee, just a hair, just a hair nervous. 
Um, because I have realized in my life, and it's not just, you know, it's not like, oh, now that I'm older, I realize this is the thing. This has always been the case for me. I'm just now starting to try and make peace with that. Yes, a smidge uneasy. Um, but like, I, I have a hard time when it comes to learning new skills that I am completely unfamiliar with. Like, if I, because I, I'm an illustrator designer by day. If I am going to be, you know, uh, working with acrylics, which I, you know, I, it, it's not a most realistic example because I do work with acrylics on occasion, but like if I were to work with, um, you know, oil paints, I, I worked with them a little bit in, uh, college, not my favorite, but I've done it, you know, or, um, you know, painting ceramic or something like that. That is a skill that is not as hard for me to get into because it's based on stuff that I'm already familiar with. But when it comes to something totally new, like a skill that I'm totally, totally unfamiliar with, um, like for example, I, your girl is delicately and lightly vectoring into the world of tattooing and such. And like, I have a friend who is showing me some ropes, uh, who is an amazing tattoo artist, by the way. Um, and I also just to get into it to practice, uh, just to familiarize myself, I ordered a cheap tattoo gun um, and some fake skins because they have that. I, so I've had it for a little bit now. It's been a few weeks since I've had the, the materials and I have not busted them out once. <laughs> now in, in part, I've also been super busy. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I took on a new um, contract freelance work situation. Um, I am currently in production for another show that I got called in to do local theater production, uh, which I got called in because I think someone else had to drop out, which is totally fine. I'm happy to do it. But also that means I have less time to learn everything I need to learn. And the show is in like a couple weeks. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is that I've also been fairly busy. Um, so there, there is that also. But aside from the time constraint of it, like I just... Uh, it, getting into a new, a completely new skill. And like, I know it's going to be something that I'm not, you know, I, I don't approach like a master by any means. Like it's, it's going to, you're going to produce some bad stuff when you first start with anything. And like, and I don't feel uncomfortable with that, but maybe subconsciously I do because I do find it hard for me to like actually sit down and carve out the time and space to like, you know, learn it. It's scary. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, Stormbender, absolutely. You know, and that, and then you have stuff like laundry and things like that, which also I need to do. And that's not really a skill-based thing. I've done laundry for many years. It also, I have a hard time carving out time for that too, just because I don't want to. <laughs> that's not because I don't know how. That's just because I would rather be doing other things. Let's see, this is a pretty decently sized field. Like, look at this. Okay, so let me grab the wheats. Now I put, I put a little non-growing thing that I could, uh, okay. So for anyone who is not intimately familiar, if you're in water, and you jump out of water, a lot of times it will undo the tilled ground. Um, and then you have to retill it if you want to plant anything there, which is honest to God, it's, it's a very minimal, like if it's something more rare or harder to grow, yeah, I mean, you don't want to mess it up, but like for stuff like this wheat, like it's a mild annoyance at best, but I also just, I'm, I'm very much like, oh, I don't want to mess this up because I did this and I put it together. All right. 
Okie dokie. So have about all of this now. Got all of our wheat. And I'm also going to collect some. You'll notice here I have, this is Beet Island. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, whoops, that's not what I want to do. Get, the, get that out, get out of here, wheat seeds. Uh, we're going to go ahead and collect some beets. There it is. So what I was saying about jumping out and not messing up the ground, I made some purposefully plain dirt areas on all of my entry slash exit ways of land that I'm growing. Now that I'm thinking about it, having just like a row of grass around the edge wouldn't be a bad idea, but it is what it is. Uh, so I'm going to, now there's, Beet Island is a lot smaller than uh, the Wheat Circle. I don't know. <coughs> what do you call Wheat Shore? Yeah, I guess I'm not, I don't know. Is there a special name for land? Like that surrounds water that surrounds an island? Just shore. I guess it would just be a shore. Wheat shore surrounding Beat Island. Um, Beat Island, again, is much smaller, though, so it doesn't take quite as long to harvest. And you will notice that aside from just Beat Island, I also have over here Beat Field. Field of beets. Drop it and they will come. <laughs> Um, now some of this managed to grow without being tilled, and I'm not sure how that happened. That's curious. Yeah, so even though this for me is a pretty easy oops, process, it does to be fair, in Minecraft time, it does take an entire day to do. So I guess it's, well, I don't want to say it's necessarily equivalent because, yo, like, dude, harvesting stuff from all these fields would take you way longer than a day. IRL, okay. But it is nighttime, so I'm going to go back and take a little, a little sleep so I don't die. <laughs> Because I don't want to die yet, slash again. Actually, did we? Yeah, we did die. Uh, for a second, I briefly forgot that we died while we were traveling back to this house earlier. So sad. So sad. Uh -huh. But this will be good. This will this will at least give us a decent amount of money so we can buy our enchantments, so we can make our tools, we can have tools that don't totally suck. And then I think I can harvest a pumpkin. We're going to wait on that. We're going to wait on the pumpkins. I don't want to mess my pumpkins up. For pumpkins are some of my favorite plants. Uh, I must ask this if anyone's hovering around and feels like answering. Is anyone going to be carving pumpkins this year? I, so, I am so hit or miss, like, you would think that I just embrace decorating for Halloween specifically, um, because, ah, yo, look at me. <laughs> However, I actually rarely decorate outside for Halloween, other than a witch-themed wreath that is up 367 days a year, 365 I added two days in there for some reason, but I have like Halloween style wreaths that are just up all of the time. I will say when it becomes holiday, like Christmas time and stuff, I will put up like a Christmassy kind of wreath because I make wreaths from dollar store things and it's a lot of fun for me. Um, but otherwise I do keep, you know, Halloween wreaths up a lot. I also, I also have a number of like animal skulls, just like around the house like <laughs> by the front door I have a cow skull uh that fun side fact maybe not fun but fun to share um 
So if you keep skulls outside, or any, honestly, any bones, if you keep bones outside, eventually squirrels will start to nibble on them. They will munch the bones. Apparently, uh, the squirrels are able to get calcium. And I, to be fair, I do think that some of the um, chipmunks are also nibbling the skulls. Um, so I have these skulls sitting out there. They're a little bit nibbled on. It's fine. <laughs> but that being the case, aside from stuff like that, that would, you know, most other times of year have people walking by thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to stop by this house. <laughs> Um, I don't really decorate specifically for Halloween though. That being said, I do on occasion, I'll get a wild hair and carve a pumpkin because I do really enjoy it. Like I love, <laughs> I like carving pumpkins. I really do. The, so the issue I have when it comes to pumpkin carving, I am the type of person who I will carve my pumpkin and it'll be cool. Like I'll carve it in a way that I'm really proud of, that I feel good about. I'll put a little candle in there. I'll set it outside the house. Sometimes by, you know, if I keep it inside the house, I'll put it by the fireplace or something like that. And it'll be great. It'll be great. And it'll keep being great. And it will continue to be great until eventually it's not great anymore because it is now melted to the floor. Um, it's easier if it's outside because I can let the squirrels eat it and then I don't have to worry about it. But yo, the squirrels never eat the pumpkin in its entirety. And then they leave the bottom part and then it melts and then it gets real weird. And then I have to clean it up and then it's just a pain in the butt. And yes, technically speaking, this could all be avoided <laughs> by actually putting it away cleaning it up before it starts melting to the ground. Yeah, just like Max said, I'm not going to do that. Who am I kidding? I'm never going to, I'm never going to clean up a pumpkin in a timely fashion. Like, let's be real. I'm never, I am normally speaking, never going to clean up anything in a timely fashion. Um, and that is why... When I have a Christmas tree up, it stays up till summertime. <laughs> Usually I get it down before summertime, but it will at least till March. Um, if I'm in a real good space, sometimes till end of February. Uh, so yeah, that's why I don't always carve pumpkins. But when I was at Aldi, <laughs> <laughs> yesterday I they had pumpkins and they were inexpensive and they looked real good um and there is a place locally nearby um it is a farm and it's like it's a com like so it's a commercial farm in that I believe they do actually grow and sell like produce and stuff like that to groceries or whatever but more so than that it's a farm where they like people can pay to you know, ride the little cart out to the fields and in the fall you can go out there and pick apples and they have all these different breeds of apple trees and you can go pick all the apples and stuff like that. Um, and I think actually to go out and do it, I don't think it costs, but then you, you know, you pay for the apples by weight and stuff like that. Um, but in this season, they have, you ride the little hay ride thing out there and they have pumpkin fields and you go out and you pick the pumpkins and that is a lot of fun and I do really enjoy it. And now that we've had this conversation, now that we've had this little talk, maybe, maybe I'll do that this year because that actually sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm glad we have it. We've had this talk. I'm glad we have come to an agreement with this. <laughs> um, okay. So now I've gotten more wheat. I'm going to be raking in the money today. It's going to be great. I, man, this, the way this wheat field is looks really nice and put together though. I'm wondering if maybe I should make these other fields look a little nicer. It's the kind of thing that like, I don't know if, listen, if I ever had a farm in which I was growing wheat or beets or potatoes or carrots or whatever else. I don't know that I'm the person who's going to be like, 
putting everything together being like, oh, it looks so nice and cute and like a little garden or whatever. In this game, though, I absolutely do. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so first off, as you can see, resource pack, my farmer is a fox. All of my villagers are. Um, but now, now it's time to make some money. Yay! <laughs> and so a better way to do this, a way better way to do this, let's be real. So if you were to, oh, he doesn't want to sell me anymore or buy anymore. Well, I'll at least buy some or sell. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I will at least sell some more of these until he has no more money at all. Frog Smash, hello, how are you? All right, um, do I have any other farmer? Just one, one farmer? No, I do have another farmer. My boy, yes. <clears throat> yeah, well, hey, so long as you get to where you're going, one is never late. And that's why I perpetually run late. <laughs> um. Yes, how are you doing though? So good to see you. <clears throat> now, what I'm gonna do, yo, I got a lot of seeds that I just, I've got too many. I've got too many wheat seeds, don't want them. Get them out of my face. Oh, snap. So I'm seeing here, work, work started last week. How is it going? Details, please. I need I need to know everything. There are so many better ways to do this, and I know that. You can build um what are those those, those funnel things, <laughs> whatever those things are called. I could build a funnel thing. I could have this be so much faster and easier than I'm doing right now, and I know that. Um all right, you've talked me into it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, uh, <clears throat> so what you can do is you can build a chest, you can put it over, there is another, they aren't, just, they aren't called funnels. Um, but what are they called? Hang on, let's, let's find out here. Oh, I haven't made you into a, a guy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so having to move the kids to two bus stops. Yeah, that definitely sounds, I don't want to say like a pain because I don't want to infer that like taking them to where they need to go is a pain, but it sounds like more of a hassle <laughs> than, than things might have been before. Okay, so what is this called? It's a, it's not called a funnel, even though it is a funnel. It is a, here it is, a hopper. Yes, a hopper. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a hopper. I need the components though. Ah! Okay, real quick. Look how they sleep. Look how my villagers sleep. They curl up in circles. They're so cute. Um, all right, let's. Put all these seeds in. This is wild. I have so many seeds right now. Oh my gosh. So Bronx Mash, does this mean that you're having to like, does this mean you're having to just kind of start the day off earlier than you normally would be? Which, you know, is fine. It's not like it's the worst thing, but that feels like such a bad, like as I think about it, that feels it's like, it's hard. I'm perpetually running late. I've, this has come out like 12 times today. And so to that capacity, it's always so hard for me to like start my day earlier. <laughs> well, and like, to be fair though, more walking isn't necessarily bad because you know, it, the body, the body does get used to walking fairly quickly and walking is really good for you. Um, I actually saw a thing. So I saw a thing, I read a thing and apparently, well, okay, let me rephrase. I saw a post that somebody had put up, um, 
that they got in 10,000 steps a day and ended up getting real healthy and like losing weight and stuff. And I was like, ah, oh, hell yeah, 10,000 steps. It turns out 10,000 steps a day is a lot of steps. But I believe it's also good for you. That's the point of that story. Ice Bunny, hello. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. And yes, yeah. And honestly, that's today's conversation did start off with donuts and pie and all of that. So yes, let us get all those steps in to walk to the bakery. I am so for it. Yes, please. 100%. I am so down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. I don't have anything I need. This is, this is terrible. All right. So what I need is iron. I never have iron. This is awful. So I know because I've seen it done before. It is possible one can make an iron factory as a strong word. Um, <clears throat> oh, yo, I've had a uh, palm blue chocolate and it, oh, so good. So good. And Bronx Mesh, I do have to say, so I got word. Ah, get away from me. I'm on fire. Oh my God, I'm on fire. I'm still on fire. Oh my God, be eating it. I'm on fire. Ah, I can't not be on fire. Oh my God, the water's too far away. Oh my word. Oh my goodness. I am just trying to cut a tree down. The, it, that was the Lorax, by the way. That was zombie Lorax who speaks for the trees and did not like my activities back there. Um, but yes, what I was trying to say is uh, Bronx Mash, if you are a fan of pies, I do want to point out that I learned just earlier today that apparently our friend Stormbender is a pretty sick apple pie maker. And um, I still am going to need some of Oh my God! Guys, guys, dudes, my dudes, look. Okay, so we've got a new baby villager, but because of my resource pack, it is a baby villager fox. Let's follow. Okay. Oh no. Oh oh. I can't. Oh my god. Oh oh. You know that also. This is like just a parent and their child having a conversation, and some weirdo stranger is standing right next to them, just like. You know, and, and I cannot imagine how uncomfortable that would be in reality. Um, and thank you, Bronx Mesh. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I, in the meantime, need to find some food because I'm about to die. Because everything is out to hurt me. Oh, here we go. We have a bunch of beeves. Beeves. Um, so let's, do I have a, do I have a an oven inside or is, are all my ovens outside? Do we just live in a world where ovens are all outside? I think they're all outside. Okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, y'all may think I'm joking, but 100% serious. If anybody wants to send me pies, um, I, iron, hey, I love apple pie, apple pies are probably my favorite apple pie followed closely by pumpkin pie if there is a way to combine apple and pumpkin pie i will be the happiest girl <laughs> um yeah i love pie and yeah, no, Bronx Mashes have a good point. Um, let's keep, let's keep the ovens outside. Uh, less chance of lighting the house on fire, which I'll do. You know I'll do it. Hi! Oh, the tail is wagging. Oh, oh my god, I'm dying. Um, cold spider, hello, the coldest of spiders. All right, so I've got my iron now. I got it for a reason. And I don't remember. Oh my gosh, do I have one of these types of cats? I have like 30 cats in the house. I have so many cats in the house, but I don't know if I have this cat. <laughs> um, and you know what that means. I need it. Um, okay, so let's 
I came out here to get iron. That's what I was doing. I got some and I forgot what I was getting it for. But I did see this cat and I want that cat. So here, let's that you, priorities, my people. Come on now. Um, wee. I don't have a sword. I don't have anything really. Um, ah, but my bare hands. But these swords, the swords of my bare hands. Um, okay, so let's eh, come back here. Come here, let me hit you. There we go. So I have three fish. I don't know if three fish is going to be enough, but let's. Hi there. Um, let's see. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. If I approach delicately, this cat may not run away from me. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. This cat wants to hang out with me, I can tell. You can tell by the way it walks away. Okay, come here, bud. Come here. Also, Rob, hello. How are you? It is so good to see you. Okay, come here, bud. Come here. Sometimes the cat, if you're holding the fish, the cat will actually like turn around for a moment. And I don't know why. Eat the fish. Eat it. Eat the fish. Eat the fish. Eat it. Eat the fish. Eat, the fish. eat this fish. Eat it. Eat. Come. Let me love you. <gasps> hey. Cat's wearing a sweater. You know what this means. An ice bunny! Yes, yeah, so wait, so I'm not even familiar. What would be what would be happening this weekend that is a new year? Because it's not quite it's not lunar new year yet. Because that's in February, I think question mark. I want to say. That could also be a lie. So take from that what you will. And yes, I absolutely have bear paws. That's that's how I'm able to catch fish so succinctly in uh, with my bear paws. Um, oh my gosh, Ice Bunny! I didn't know that. So apparently this weekend was the Jewish New Year. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, indeed. Happy New Year to anyone who may have celebrated. Oh, that's awesome. I did not know that. A hopper. That's what I was making. Oh my God, I am losing my mind. Um, okay, hopper, hopper. Um, so I need, okay, so the first thing I need, the first thing I need um, is, yeah, I don't want to make that right now. Get get out of here. I need to make a chest. Um, so let's do that. And then I believe, yeah, that's, that's not right. Hey, all right. Apparently, if you have the piece on top that puts a lid on, you can't use the hopper. Uh, so I'm going to do another another chest because I believe I can put a chest on top of the hopper and thusly put more things in it. So we'll we'll find out. Let's let's find out about this. All right. Um, place. OK. And then place this up here. Let me do this to where I can actually put this where I want. Boop. We're going to put this chest here. Ah, no. <laughs> to place something instead of, fun side note, to place something instead of using something, you press shift and then you can place something. Um, all right, so let's see. Yes. Oh, my God. Yo, people. Okay. So what we can do now, dig this. Dig. Ah. So what we can do now, if I make another hopper, I can... Make it to where this will then feed into another thing and all of the stuff that comes out of there. Look at us. Look at us automating um, like fucking champions. All right. Automating like badasses. There, I said it. I said it. <clears throat> um, so I need another tree. I hope the Lorax doesn't pop out and smash me again. Because I don't want to get hit. Okay, so let's, and yes, I know if I were to make an ax, this would go a lot quicker. That's a problem for later me. I say as night falls and I get smashed by another. Okay, let's, let's get out. This is crazy. Let's get out of here. This is dangerous business. 
Look at this baby fox! No! Ah. Do you have a child? Do you have a bed? Do you have a home? Okay, what is what is happening? Can you not open this door? Go inside. What are you doing? Go in. Go to bed. <clears throat> ah, I know cold spider. True, true. I meant, I meant smash in terms of like the the way us old timey people, and not the new way of uh, in which it means a sexy smash. No, no. I mean the unpleasant kind of smashed. Um, okay, so now the the bad touch. Uh, all right, so now let's do this again. Nope. Wait. No. Yes. This this will work. It is. No. Absolutely. Ice Bunny. It is one hundred percent a toddler, and oh, so cute. So cute, I can barely stand it. Okay, so we're gonna make another hopper and then we're gonna make another box. Look at us automating though, aren't we the best? Aren't we fucking clever? All right, so now, go ahead, there he goes, ah, what are you doing? Um, okay, so now we'll do this and then we'll put the chest down here and the hopper right here and I think, maybe, um, oh, can I not, can I, does that not work this way? Does it need more space? Okay, hang on. Hang on. Um, I thought I could do that, but maybe I can't. Okay, so this, how does it feed directly? How do you have a hopper feed directly into it? Can you? Hmm. Um. Either way, well, maybe it need. Hang on a second. I actually want to ask the internet this because I, I feel like there's a way. Okay, how to have a hopper go into, whoop, spelling, into a chest. How to make a hopper go into a chest. Um, place a chest below the hopper. You can, okay, so maybe I had to place the hopper first. I'm confused, but here, let's, maybe the hopper has to go first. Oh yeah, no, apparently that's, was my issue. Okay, well, um, and I guess once the hopper fills, it'll go down to the next. Okay, well, you know what? That's my, well, it never works, I guess. Oh God, oh my God, I was trying to, oh God, I just hit him. Oh, he ran away. Oh, he's so mad at me. He's not gonna pay me anymore. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry, no. Can I give you something? Oh no, don't be mad. Okay. Okay, I just hit him once, so he's not <laughs> he's not super mad, but he's not thrilled either. Oops. My mistake. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, my guy. But now at least we can get this a lot quicker. So in order to make money faster, there is a way you can actually so you can automate what I'm going to lovingly call a an iron farm. Um, and what that is is essentially you so you take you take a villager and you put them in a boat. Actually, no. I, no, I wouldn't have to do that with a villager because the villagers are here. And if I, okay, <clears throat> so what I can do, take back what I can do. No, I wouldn't need a villager. So you take a villager <laughs> because what happens is if you have a villager that gets scared, a, they will produce a, a golem. And then if you... So you have a villager and you put them in a boat and then you put like, I don't know, uh, a, what am I trying to say, a, a zombie or some, probably a zombie in another boat and you have it to where they can't reach each other. So the zombie can't kill a villager or anything like that, but it will scare the villager so that a 
a golem will be produced, but then you keep the golem in, in a boxed in area. And then you, this boxed in area also has lava in it. And so they melt down and then it feeds down into a hopper and then they produce a lot of iron. Listen, I'm not saying it's ethical, but that is a thing that one can do to produce iron quickly. And if you do that, you can kind of hear how I have the alchemist house. You can produce, um, well, uh, uh, you, you can make a library is a good word that I will use, uh, of, um, blacksmiths, um, that you can then buy stuff from. Anyway, point being, it's not, no, and yeah, no, 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 absolutely. They're not, it's a video game. It's totally fine. Um, yeah, but that's, that's how that can work. So I'm, wee. <clears throat> the pro see the thing is when it's normal villagers, I actually do not feel bad about putting them into little cells or prisons or farms or anything like that. Yo, but my fox people are so cute though. Look at, oh my God, this, look at him. Oh, my cat's sleeping on his bed and he's mad. Uh, well, say lovey. Am I right? Um, okay, so so we've automated one thing, and I'm gonna be real with you. I'm actually really, I'm really proud of us. We've done something good. We've done a good. Um, so let's see. So in order to create, if I wanted to make a, let me think about this. If I wanted to make a bunch of blacksmiths, the blacksmiths want. I guess a forge produces them. Um, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, no, no, Ice Bunny, absolutely. So they are living in their mini homes, an apartment building, if you will. And yeah, so so let me. What I think I'm gonna do, the house for the blacksmiths, I would actually like to be near here because normally I'm immediately going to enchant, um, you know, weapons and stuff. So what I think I'm gonna do, so the upper, the upper levels, if you will, the upper levels will be for the enchanter, librarians apparently they're called, and I'm, I'm gonna dig out underneath, and that will be where I put the, uh, the smiths. So, let me actually, I am actually going to make, yeah, I'm actually gonna make a shovel, because this is otherwise gonna take me 10,000 years, and we just don't have that kind of time. So, boom, iron shovel. Now, so this goes into here. Let's do that. Okay. And actually, hmm, hang on. Hang on. Let me think about this. No, no. What I'm going to do instead is, because I like this leading up there. I don't want the door to be right there. I'll make the downstairs around the corner. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> that will be better. Okay. So the stairs that go down will be here. That's how this will work. Yes, that feels, I feel good about it. Okay. So this is where the stairs that go down will be. Um, and this is likely going to lead down to the cave, which... I don't actually hate. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so this will be good. Yeah, exactly. I would wait 10,000 years. Although I wouldn't, I'm not nearly that patient. So we've got our pickaxe, scooch everything over here. This is gonna be great. This is gonna, this is gonna be awesome because we are gonna be able 
to actually reproduce some really nice weapons real quickly and without having to build them. So this like building that I did for these things right now, not going to have to happen. And I love that because I want everything to be easier. <clears throat> <clears throat> Um, I will say I'm going to need to uh, put a lantern down here. That's getting a little dark. So let me grab some of this, da, da, da. some of this. Um, some of this. All right, now we will more safely be able to do this in theory. Oh yeah, it's dragon night, I'm already one of this. See how long it takes to make a beautiful, beautiful village? Which I, you know, I may redo some of these houses and make it look a little bit nicer. That's Listen, that's a later plan though. We gotta we gotta get our tools going, we gotta get all of our villagers set with jobs. Um I truly am building the economy is what's happening. So all right. And this is actually going down toward where a cave is, so I feel like we should reach it at some point. Hopefully not dangerously, because that would make me very sad. <laughs> and Stormbender, uh, you are welcome. Yes, uh, you, you can call me a leader of industry, an entrepreneur, if you want. Um, a tycoon, even, is a word that I would accept. <laughs> Um, all right. Oh, I was going to set that. Well, no, I, I don't like, even when I build stuff out, I don't like having just holes everywhere. It makes me feel like things aren't organized. And I hate that. Uh, possibly even a beacon of industry. That's a fun word. Beacon. Oh my God, cat fucking scared me. I know that the cats just appear and that is that is kind of their normal activity as well but oh my lord okay <laughs> freak me out um okay so we're down deep enough I thought we were gonna hit this cave I don't know that we are I'm just gonna go ahead and start building this out this is insane we're down low enough that I should be able to build this out um, a few levels without having to really worry about running into the house. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So, we'll, we'll see. How wide do I want this? I want to, I want this to be a big room for sure. Um, so let's, we'll go that far on that side. Um, And then maybe to there. Okay. So that's good. That's good. I feel good about that. Make sure there is light because I do not need surprise monsters. That is not what I'm here for today. Um, honestly, I may fill some of that in because maybe. Well... Maybe. Well, first thing, let's see how far back I want this to go. How big do I want my room? Keeping in mind that I'm probably going to increase its size later. But I want to at least start off with something pretty. Oh, see there. What's this? Is this? Yeah, OK, 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 I see what's happening. Um, so this. Hmm. All right, so what I'm going to do, we'll, because I would like for it, so this runs into the stairs for that. So let's, if we go a little bit further, oh, hi, bud. 
Hang on, let's see if I can connect this. Oh, look at this cat. So this leads to our stairs that go up to how I normally get down here. Okay, okay, I don't feel bad about that. So let's have this like this. Okay, okay. And this will lead through here. And if that's the case, let's have this be the edge right there. This is, you know, sort of making sense for what I want. Um, and then <clears throat> trying to get my orientation here. So we'll have this actually go this way. And this will be the room back here. Yes. OK. All right, this is this is sort of coming together. This is somewhat making some sense ish. Oh, I'm going to need to build a whole bunch more pickaxes, though. This is a mess. <clears throat> Um, okay, so let's not neglect the uh, coal. No, my pickaxe broke. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna another one. It's all right. Um, I guess I could move. One of these closer to me. Don't know that I will, but I could. Oops. All right. And we're back. So, okay, so coming down here, it feels weird. That feels weird being like that. I don't like how weird it feels. All right, so let's. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna make this a little bit taller. Get some more of this. Because even though I'm good on coal right now, who's to say when I'm gonna need some more? And as I haven't built any iron farms, I haven't built any coal farms. I've really done nothing in terms of all that, so. Yes, Bronx Mash. All right, so let's fill that in. Because I don't want that just open, because I'm a little peculiar when it comes to this. All right. Okay. Oh my god. Every time this cat comes down here, fucking startles me is what it does. All right. I'm not, listen, I'm not ready to be surprised. I don't deal with that well. All of the... <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely just doing cat things. Let's see. Oh, what other earworms can I think of that are some of my favorites? Um, one that I've generally had stuck in my head. Um, wait, hang on. Let me, uh, flash. Whoa. But that's the only, like, there's more to it. But that's obviously. Um, but that's the only, like, part that I remember in fullness. <laughs> Yeah, and so Ice Bunny, the question being, uh, why do Americans call everything that in Europe would be considered a trade for industry? Honestly, I, I think in a lot of ways, and somebody feel absolutely free to correct me on this, I feel like linguistically in America, trade and industry are a lot of times interchangeable. 
someone please correct me if that is completely incorrect. I feel, I feel like that's the case. That could also be a complete lie. Trade and industry. <gasps> Yeah, see, opening up these rooms is probably some of the least interesting stuff, but a necessary evil for me to make my my blacksmith farm. For you see, blacksmiths prefer to live underground. It is their natural habitat. It's where they prefer to be. Um, yeah, maybe I'll put a painting on that wall. Trying, trying to make it feel like there's a reason I, I cut that out of there. Uh, yes, yes. So that blacksmiths can be closer to their the elements of their trade, their industry. In the rocks from whence they came. Blacksmithing is actually, it, well, not, I say actually as if anyone would have felt otherwise. Blacksmithing is very cool. Both industry and pastime, because I do know some people that get into blacksmithing as a hobby. Um, very cool either way you're going to do it. However you're going to do it. It is cool. Na, 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 na. Almost done making this room. Man, and even for all of that, like, this room doesn't even feel that big. To be fair. Ah! Uh. Yeah, I know, uh, Stormbender, I know there's not, um, I don't think links are able to be shared in chat, but, um, for anybody who wants it, uh, the Flash Gordon theme song is in fact on YouTube. It is amazing. Definitely take a listen right now. <laughs> All right, so... I built out this room. It doesn't feel very huge, but you know, we're, we're working with what we've got. And yes. Yeah. Queen, uh, amazing band queen did the soundtrack for the eighties flash board movie. And yo, let's be real. It is a necessary thing. <laughs> it is necessary to have it as a part of your life. So what I'm going to do for this is for the blacksmiths, I am going to, all right, so we're going to start off, um, okay, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? We are going to, I think if I make this one more out. Now this is probably more space than I really am going to want for the final, but okay. I'm going to put the bed there. I'll put the... Hmm. Well, maybe, okay, hang on. I'm trying to think here how I want to do this. Cause right now I can put a bed here and a villager will go down there. And then as they go down into the hole, they will be trapped there. And so it'll be a little bit easier to keep them in one place. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do with the, Hmm. Putting the furnace, I want to say, is what they want. Um, hmm. That's going to be something I actually have to look a little more into. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm going to have to look a little more into that to see kind of how I want to build this out. But this is essentially going to be where, where we put these guys. And honestly, hmm, I may... I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this yet. I'm going to think on. I'm going to let that simmer a little. Oh my god, it's nighttime. Yikes. Okay. Uh, 
I don't want to get eaten by zombies. So let's go in here. Let's take take a little bit of a rest. Okay. So I what? Okay, so we do have a golem in here. He's in the house. I think he's stuck. What on earth, my dude? Is happening. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, see? Look at this. There's a zombie here and you're not even down here, my guy. Ridiculous. It's fine. It's fine. But is it? <laughs> you're not even doing your job because you're stuck in that house. I don't even know how you got in there. Um, okay. So, one thing I do want to check out super quick. And one thing I want to check out is let's look back in this book. Um, because hmm. I'm gonna want to make. Okay, I'm just taking a peek through to get some ideas of what I'm. Oh, a respawn anchor. Okay, I like that. Um. I'm trying to get a sense of kind of where I'm wanting to go as we build up our house, our village, etc., etc. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm I'm getting a pretty good of sense of things that I want to do. So in the meantime, uh, before we get jumping into any other uh, projects in the village, I think that's a good pausing point for now, actually. So, in the meantime, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to check out and see the two things I really want to accomplish for the, this village is I want to make a uh, blacksmith farm <laughs> and get that going on. But I also want to figure out finally, 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 oh, get my act together and figure out making an iron farm. Um, Cause that's going to be really important for the blacksmith farm. Um, so I'm going to need to look and see how that was built in this other one that I was playing. Um, and I'm sure there's some ideas even just jumping on to, you know, the old, the old Google uh, and looking up how people have done it. So that's something that I'm really wanting to set up and get going for this particular village. Then it will be a lot easier to build up our house, etc. And I might try looking and seeing what other kinds of resource packs and mods I can actually put on. If I can find the one where I was able to build a cuckoo clock, I might do that because that was actually really cool and I liked having it uh, quite a bit. <laughs> Um, let's see. Wait, you, chat GPT for like how to build Minecraft items? It makes sense. It makes sense that that would be usable for that, but I would not have considered that. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I actually, so I actually, I got on the discord for... Well, the thing is too, at least for that, like I generally am not doing any code work. I like I'm finding stuff and then just Minecraft does a really good job of like you essentially you can find um, resource packs and mods that other people have done and actually just drop it into a folder and Minecraft like auto puts it, incorporates it. <laughs> um, so it, Minecraft does a really nice job of making that really easy to approach uh, which means me having such a hard time approaching it is really based in nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually did jump onto, oh, I forgot what it's called. It's the, um, AI art thing, but it's through discord. Like that's where the, um, basis for it is, you know, and I know there's a lot being said right now and being, uh, thought about in various different controversies surrounding like, how AI is going to affect, you know, artists, writers, jobs, things like that. I do think that there are some really, and I just as an artist, I think there's some really cool uses for it for sure. And I really like how 
a lot of creating assets and media and stuff is a lot more accessible. Um, Cause like, Yo, everybody, people are creative. People, human beings are inherently creative. And I think having accessible ways for people to explore that creativity is good, you know, overall. So, but we're a little bit early, but that's my plan for next time. We're going to be trying to put some things together for the village. Um, and that is going to be on the first Sunday of October. Uh, coming up, let's see... Otherwise, uh, coming up, we are going to be, I believe, knock on wood, uh, we're going to be coming back for, on Sirenscape, the wedding of Hades and Alley Cats. So that's going to be amazing. So be sure to stay tuned on all the socials for announcements of that. On Fridays this past week, we just restarted for season three of Traveler Pirates of Drynax. So super excited about that. I, uh, in town, if anyone is around St. Louis the Midwest, in a couple weeks, I'm going to be opening and doing a couple week run of Midsummer Night's Dream with St. Louis Shakespeare, in which a yours truly is going to be playing bottom. So super stoked about that. Um, yeah, I think that's really all I have for now. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. Please, please do something nice for yourself, um, especially with, with this time we have left in the weekend. Get some rest if you need. Do a, do a, do a something fun. <laughs> and if you have it within you, uh, do something nice for somebody else, but mostly take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. And yeah. Yeah, and uh, I do have to say, Cold Spider, uh, any objections to this marriage? Adam Smash. That's when we have suddenly every enemy we've ever run into shows up. Um, I would like to think, though, that we would actually invite them, and it would be a moment where we all get together and, like, have a nice, fun party. <laughs> so, but thank you so much, everybody. Take care of yourselves, and I look forward to seeing you next time.